happy anniversary. I'll always help you. What's the case? Pikeman. I'm not a child! Are you taking your meds? General Hospital latest update, secret romance revealed, Carly turns nurse for mysterious John, Drew and Nina heat up behind closed doors. Shocking General Hospital recap unveils surprising twists. Jason's hostile takeover leaves Sunny fuming, what's behind the sudden power shift? Dive into the intrigue. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital Recap Carly plays nurse for John, Drew and Mina Sizzle, in secret. General Hospital Spoilers Recap for Tuesday, April 9th, reveals that Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, summoned Diane Miller, Carolyn Hennessy, to Corinthos Coffee, where he took over Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, office and pointed out that he still owned half the business. Talk turned to Jason's estate, so Diane reflected on how quickly she was able to get a death certificate for him. Diane assumed someone was working behind the scenes who wanted that to happen. However, Jason's estate was stuck in probate while he was gone, so Diane thought he should be able to regain control of everything pretty easily. Jason sought updates on Carly Spencer's, Laura Wright, life changes, so Diane explained that her marriage to Sonny fell apart and acted like it was because he chose Nina Corinthos, Cynthia Watros. Diane also blamed Nina for scooping up the Metro Court after Carly lost it due to a bad investment. Once Diane spilled about the insider trading situation, she added that Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, went to prison while Carly paid a $5 million fine. Diane put the blame on Nina for reporting the SEC violations and suggested that Carly was working to rebuild her life through her work at Bobby's. After Diane mentioned how resilient Carly was, Jason backed her up on that. Although her paralegal was supposed to bring some papers, Diane guessed she got spooked and didn't want to come to that part of town at this late hour. Diane insisted she'd get them to Jason tomorrow and agreed to deliver a message to Sonny for him. Jason wanted Diane to tell Sonny that he was reclaiming his half of Corinthos coffee and would be working there from now on. At the Metro Court, Nina realized Willow Corinthos, Caitlin McMullen, and Michael Corinthos, Chad Duell were having an early anniversary dinner, so she brought some champagne over to the table. Nina also said she'd have the chef prepare a five-course meal, but Willow reminded Nina that she didn't want to see her and thought Nina was going to respect her wishes. After Nina offered an apology and vowed to cancel the special meal, she took the champagne with her as she left. Michael got his night with Willow back on track, so he gave her a fancy bracelet that Wiley Corinthos, Byron Weaver, picked out once his dad narrowed it down for him. Willow admitted she was working so much at the hospital and missing special moments that would only come while the kids were little. Michael pitched the idea of Willow throwing herself into charity work that would allow a more flexible schedule and still allow her to give back. Once the conversation shifted to Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, and how much changed for him when Jason came back, Willow had sympathy for him. At Sonny's penthouse, Ava Jerome, Maura West, tried to turn Christina Corinthos Davis, Kate Monsey, away since her dad was resting, but she insisted on seeing him. Sonny popped up and was quite happy to welcome Christina in. Christina vented to Sonny about her face-off with Jocelyn Jack's Eden McCoy, and seemed uneasy as Ava handed Sonny a glass of booze. Talk turned to Blaze aka Allison Rogers, Jacqueline Grace Lopez, deception deal, which led to Christina mentioning Nina's return to Crimson. Sonny questioned why Drew would rehire the woman who put him in prison and thought something was strange about that. If Drew was scheming, Ava piped up that Nina could take care of herself. Once Christina left, Sonny asked if Ava knew about Nina's return to Crimson and didn't tell him. Ava insisted she didn't and guessed Nina's phone was buried under everything on her desk, including her divorce papers. Sonny eventually seemed like he was on the verge of kissing Ava, but Diane's arrival interrupted them. After Diane shared the news about Jason taking back his half of Corinthos coffee and moving in the office, Sonny fumed and headed for the warehouse. Once Sonny found Jason later, he warned that he didn't want him there. At Bobby's, Carly took Drew's call and heard about his run-in with the FBI. Drew thought Carly should let Jason worry about himself while she took care of her girls. 
Next on Tuesday's General Hospital episode, Olivia Cordemain, Lisa Lo Cicero, showed up and vented to Carly about all the problems she was having in her partnership with Nina. Diane's paralegal also popped up with legal papers for Jason, so Carly said she'd deliver them and headed toward Corintho's coffee. In Carly's SUV, she found two guys beating someone up, so she honked and yelled until they ran off. When Carly approached the man to check on him, she was surprised to find the victim was John Jagger Cates, Adam Harrington. John refused to let Carly call 911, but she insisted on helping him into her car and up to his suite at the Metro Court. Carly also vowed to get John a painkiller and some ice, so he relented on letting her tend to him. Once Nina approached Drew in his office, she pushed him to help her. If Drew put Nina on Aurora's board of directors, that would force Michael to work with her and open the door to the relationship she wanted with Willow. Drew wondered what was in it for him, so Nina pointed out that Carly would think they were allies and that would drive her crazy. Nina wound up bickering with Drew again, which led to her grabbing his shirt as he tried to turn away. The buttons ripped open, so Drew ultimately just ditched the shirt. Some flirting ensued as Nina and Drew tested the waters, which led to Nina unbuttoning her blouse a bit before Drew kissed her. Drew gave Nina a chance to say no, but she gave him the green light as they stripped down for passion on his desk. General Hospital spoilers say Nina and Drew's hookup will lead to some complications, so stick with us for more predictions on all the trouble that's looming. Today's next update, Sunny and Jason's tense meeting, since when is Jason into hostile takeovers? General Hospital spoilers and updates tease Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, and Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, will have a very tense meeting. Sonny's angry and confused since when is Jason into hostile takeovers? General Hospital, Jason Morgan is taking over Corinthos Coffee. Sonny owns several businesses, but Corinthos Coffee has been the main one, started by him and Jason Sonny owned 60%, Jason owned 40% and Jason once owned a motorcycle repair garage. When Brando Corbin, Johnny Wachter, came to town Jason and Sonny let Brando have the motorcycle shop which he turned into a car repair garage. After Brando's death, his mother Gladys Corbin, Bonnie Burroughs, gambled it away and gave it to Selena Wu, Lydia Look, to pay her gambling debt while Jason's been presumed dead. Sonny drove Gladys out of town, settling her debt with Wu and helped save Brando's widow Sasha Gilmore, Sophia Matson, from a dirty doctor. Jason has learned some of that from various family members and friends since returning to Port Charles but it didn't get his garage back however, that's okay. General Hospital Spoilers, Why the Coffee Business? Apparently, something has gone on behind the scenes helping work things in Jason's favor so he could buy out Sonny without Sonny even knowing. Michael Corinthos, Chad Duell, had closed the port, cutting off shipments in and out when he started his vendetta against Sonny. Perhaps that's why there were only a few bags there. But, something else happened there too and considering Jason's been forced to work as an FBI informant, it could be connected to his purchase. Sonny set up a fake pikeman shipment with coffee beans in pikeman crates and embarrassed the FBI agents who busted him. That's one of the first things that John Jagger Cates, Adam Harrington, brought up when he first mentioned Sonny. General Hospital Spoilers, When did Jason Morgan get into doing hostile takeovers? Sonny's upset that Corinthos Coffee has been transferred fully to Jason without his even knowing it was happening since when did Jason get into doing hostile takeovers? Who financed this takeover? Michael Sonny knows that Michael paid Jason's bail and offered him a way to leave town or at least that's what came through the grapevine. If Jason didn't have bail, how would he have money to buy out Sonny? It doesn't make sense, might Jagger have pulled something off behind the scenes? After all, when Sonny was being held by the FBI they had threatened to seize his businesses. Is the coffee business Jason's payment for working for Jagger to take down Pikeman? Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.